put my little microphone thing. Hello friends. Hi, hi, hi. Um, I have got to grab my little mic cord. Hey you guys, welcome. It's really good to see you here today. It's exciting. Today is the new IOD release day. And uh, we're going to get going showing you all of the cool new stuff. And then we're going to use some of it on a few of our basement clean out projects. So um, I am just waiting for Megan to get down here and she will answer all of your questions. And I need my little mic jack. Of course, you know, um, I'm never completely ready. So uh, let's get started. How about these new transfers? Well, let's talk about the inlays first. The new inlays. We actually did a piece back here, I don't know if you can see it, that um, where we use the inlay chateau. And I'll be um, doing a YouTube video sharing my technique for layout on this piece. But I gotta tell you, I think Chateau is probably one of my favorite things in this new release. I love it. I used it a first time, I used it a second use, and I used it a third use. Then we have an inlay called oh, La Chasse. Of course, I, I don't speak French, so I have no idea what this means or even how to pronounce it. I haven't even really looked at this one yet, so let's look at it together. Actually, it's really beautiful. This one has um, some incredible, oh my gosh, look at the detail in these. But what I love about this particular inlay is that there's, there are smaller pieces that you can use individually. And then, let me see, there's four smaller sheets. And then there's one larger sheet, which is like four. So, um, let me see. But, so we basically have one larger design and then four smaller designs that can be used individually. I like that. I think that's a really smart move. And it's beautiful. Um, it is gorgeous. Look at this. Just classic, classic good looks right there. That's so neat. All dokey. I'll be using that for sure on a project. Um, let's look at this. This is called Petite Parasols. It's a soft black, kind of a wall um, image and I see beautiful birds on here I see oh my gosh this is so pretty imagine this as a whole like the back of a china buffet a china cabinet this could be on a wall um, actually this is really really gorgeous Hey, Megan, I think I left my little okay. connector up on the table. Okay. Thank you. Okay. But um, this is all one pattern, and look at the little birds, and oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. Very traditional, very old European looking. I think that's a winner, too. Okay, and so those are the three inlays. And now let's talk about the three stamps that we have. And I confess I have not used these yet, but I'm going to. The first one is called Catwalk. Who doesn't love a very good leopard print? This is neat. Can you imagine this not only on a neutral linen background, but then also on something bright and colorful? Oh, this is a good, good, good texture stamp, background stamp. Um, oh, here it is on jeans. Oh my gosh, so cool. I love it. Raise your hand if you love catwalk. 
I like it. I think it's awesome. And now for another, this is called, um, 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 it wasn't connected to the microphone, mom. You know I took it off. And put it where? I think it, it's up on the table upstairs. Okay, let me see it on. Oh, boy. All right. You know something? Yeah, true to form. This is us. This is the, this is me. Anyway, I put it down somewhere. My little microphone jack, but I'll just have to speak loudly. This one is called, um, um, this is called Serpentine. It's an awesome snake skin. I know everybody might not be into that, but I think this could have some really cool applications. Again, think of it as like a textural background in your mixed media. Um, this is, this is actually beautiful. The detail on this is incredible. It is really incredible. All right, I am just hoping and praying you guys are seeing me and hearing me. Megan is looking for my little um, my little cord, but if she doesn't find it, oh well. Um, I hope those of you that are here today will say hello. Let us know that you're watching. And as soon as I show you these stamps, I'm going to move on to prepping a couple of projects, and we're going to use some of the new IOD molds and transfers on a few things here in the basement. Um, this is called Bella. Bella is a really great stamp, which if you flip that package over, you stamp lovers, you, you can see that it can be arranged in so many different ways. All of these elements can be disconnected from one another and used individually. That's pretty cool. I love the way they innovate in that way. It's okay, Megan. I'll just have to, I'll have to wing it. You carried it somewhere. I did. I carried it, and I, I don't know what I did with I it. I cleared the whole table. I did not. Huh. See it. Oh, well. This is why we need one for upstairs and one for downstairs. That is true. I told you that that is true. So Megan is here with us now. She's going to be checking your comments. And we're going to start talking about some of these molds. I'm just going to show you a few examples. We have this guy called Village Market. Look at that. Isn't that so adorable? It's got a cow, a pig, and a sheep. Pretty neat. Hey, Arlinda. Okay, so let me show you what they look like. I haven't, obviously I haven't had time to use all of these, but I did prep a few things so that you could see how they look on a background. But this is Village Market. Here I used the cow. Um, I just put it on a white background with black wax. Um, you can do any number of things with this. Add some, add some inlays, add some other transfers, some lettering. You can make some really cool signs. And then we have our sheep which I put on a brown background with a white wax. I kind of made it look a little like carved wood. So there's the sheep. That is Village Market. So that's in one of these piles. It's probably in a pile somewhere. One of, these, it's one of the piles you carried down, I would bet. Oh, who knows? Who knows? I keep checking. It's right there. Oh, here it is. Okay, we found it. <laughs> <laughs> is Arlena the only one watching today? No, I haven't had a chance to. I know. Okay, um, I'm gonna. We're gonna get to the transfers later. But um, our next stamp is called Olive Crest, and I really didn't like. I really didn't see the potential in this one until I opened it up and started casting some of these molds. This is one of those that's just like. Just make sure you tip it towards the camera. A go-to. There you this go. This is a go-to right here. And what I've done is... Sorry for the jiggling. We're actually going to use it on a mirror. So, um, I need to get some quick and thick glue somewhere. Amy Drew's likes your top. Do you need Hi, me to Amy. Get, do you need me to get I just, some glue? Yeah, if you could. JR From might, upstairs? Or JR, you know what, grab even one of his know. wood glue. I'll over get there. a quick and thick. Yeah, whatever, and whatever, it's fine. So let me at least show you. Um, I'm going to tip this down because I'm going to want to be working on this to show you 
some of the awesomeness of this mold. Hi, Leah. Okay, and we're going to pull a little forward. Thank you. I hope I'm not making anybody car sick here. <laughs> but this um, gold mirror, this is a very traditional um, early American mirror. And this has been in the basement. I bought this locally at a, at a yard sale. And I decided that I'm going to use the Olive Crest to repair these little spots right here. They had elements on here, and then um, they had fallen off. One of them I popped off because I didn't have the matching one, so we're going to make it all better, okay? But until then, look at... Um, Just, here's one, and then there's a fresh one. Beautiful. Look at some of the awesome ways that you could use the elements in here. I mean, this is a beautiful, like, laurel with some berries on it. Um, I found this piece back in the basement, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decoupage something on this little oval, and then create a frame with lots of texture using all of these different elements. Hi, Leah, hi, Linda. But look at, imagine, like, you could use these on, on furniture, um, and, these are the other two. This is a kind of a miniature of an acanthus piece. So I am going to actually lay these right here. I'm going to use them to repair this. This is that little crest. Oh my goodness, this is so, so, so pretty. That's almost like a little frame in itself, like a miniature frame. So let's get these glued on here, and then we're going to quickly cover over with some... Paint, some paint, some metallic. And we're going to make this look like it's part of the mirror, that it's been there forever. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. That's how I brought you a fresh one. I know. I feel like doing this. Who do we have watching today? We have lots of people watching. I just said hi to Linda and Leah. Arlinda's here. Lisa, Wendy. Abby, Melissa, Jane, Shannon, Donna, you guys, I'm so happy you're here. Can you see what I'm doing here on this piece? Can you see that? So just this is what they can see. Okay, maybe I'll, let me, let, can we like bring it in a little bit? Mm -hmm. Just a little. And tell How's that? Them. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Well, well you didn't see it. There it is. Up there. So yeah, that's enough. Better. Mm -hmm. That's better. I, I would could go closer, but I have to tip it, and it would get pretty wild. I would love to know in the comments which is which one of these is your favorite release. And you can't say all of them. <laughs> Janine says she loves what you did with the new inlays on the cabinet the cabinets oh the um on the furniture oh my Behind goodness you? yes I showed that um right at the very beginning but we'll come a little bit closer too so I am just gonna pop this guy on here we're gonna let those dry a little bit and then I'm gonna show you the next mold which is called horse and hound and you know what? I was kind of like, yeah, I'm not into horses. I am into hounds, however. Lisa loves Whispering Willow. I like that too. It's so cute, isn't it? You guys, I just put up a, a YouTube video showing 12 ways that I used Whispering Willow. So you'll want to check that out. Megan will link that as well. That's already on YouTube. It's live. Hmm, I wonder how I can link that when I'm already in YouTube. Oh, you might not be able to, but I can link it later. Okay, so this one is called Horse and Hound. And I know it's going to be a little bit tougher to see this just because it's white on white. But um, one of our fabulous stockists had done a piece layering these horses along a really textured background. It kind of reminded me of the cave paintings in France. But um, I just saw it. I remember that I had this really awesome panel piece 
that I thought would look super cool with just a series of these horses along along this. Wendy said, do you need to straighten the molds? Straighten the molds. What do you mean? I'm not sure. Wendy, do I need to straighten the molds? Here? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> you guys have a better eye than I do. You really do. Leah likes the wild, um, the whispering willow and the olive crest mold the best. The, uh, I know. And, and I know that because you ordered them. Yeah, yes, they're, they're you did. Thank you, you so much, you guys, for all of you that have placed your orders already. It's been, it's so, we're so thankful for that. Um, so here's the horse. Here's what the hound. Says. Here's the hound, and here's a fox. So imagine the really cool things that you could do with these pieces. Here's what I really love about the horse and hound mold. Right here in my hand are these beautiful little acorns and leaves that have so much detail in them, and they're just, they're just yummy. They're so, so good. I'm, I'm literally like... Did you taste them? No, I didn't. These are, just let's remind everyone that they're not... They're not edible. edible. Well, you, you could actually cast but these not, with chocolate. not with the air dry clay. No, not so with the air dry clay. She means yumming in a different way. Yep. So I did, we have these cast with air dry clay. You can also use resin, but I think this is going to be a beautiful board by the time I get done with it. Um, it's going to be textured and just really, really awesome. Oh, he dokey. That is that one. Let me put it aside. Okay. Now I want to. This is. Oh gosh, here's another one of those little acorn and oak leaves. God, they're so cute. They're so cute. They are. Okay, let me grab a brush. Could you grab a brush, Megan? Just a smaller, scruffy, scruffy brush. Is this okay? Sure. And I'm going to use some Golden Ticket. And I'm just going to cover right over these. I will be adding some other dark uh, patina to this, some other metallics. Like how cool would that be even with a monogram? You could even turn it this way and create a pendant. There's so many things that you could do with these molds. I love Olive Crest too. At first I didn't know, I gotta confess. Lisa just said the horses were uninspiring until you did that. I think that's kind of how you felt when you saw what that stock is. Did. Exactly. And when I saw what she did, and Lord, heaven forbid, just forgive me, I cannot remember her we're name. We're going to find it, though. But we will. She she showed it in the stockist group this week, and, and it was beautiful. Um, but I just imagined that horse, like, actually, um, oh, another, another somebody, Susan Robinson, did a piece and did it all like a rust, faux rust finish with that horse, because she's kind of in horse country, and it was so cool. It looked like an old, uh, rusted iron gate. You're welcome, Leah. But that horse, oh, can you imagine it? Like, like a series of them around a lamp for the equestrian in your life. So we just started with a background. Arlinda seems to be an equestrian. Are you, Arlinda? Are you, Arlinda? Fascinating. Hi, Kathleen says hi. Hi, Kathleen. So I want some of the background to show, some of my background metallic to show, so I'm just kind of rubbing away a little bit here, but I have completely coated my olive crest mold pieces, and um, and then we'll put that aside to dry. We'll come back and do a little bit of wax later on. If I get anything on this piece that Jr. is doing, oh he is going God. to kitten. He's going to have a kitten. Here you go. 
Let me move this aside. There's just so much, you guys. There's so much. Okay, let me put this mirror aside. But you can see already that how that can is going to fill that space beautifully. Look at that. That's cool. I don't know if they can see that. Oh, okay. You got to bring it back up again. Even now, the whole camera has to move. Sorry, everybody. I don't know if anybody knows this, but I don't like shooting in the basement. No, I know she doesn't at all, but it's difficult to have quality. Okay. Okay, that's how we are now, Mom. That's good. Okay. There it is. But yes, imagine we all saw her feet, yeah. Imagine how you can use this particular mold to create elements, um, little design elements on furniture pieces, on frames, um, to repair um, to repair little parts and pieces that are missing trim, you know. Um, but yeah, th this is going to be cool. This will be a great way to fill in this space. And then when we're done, we'll have this up on the floor to sell. So let me pop that aside. Oh, that is one heavy mirror. I feel like I am really speed racing. You are. <laughs> am I? <laughs> am I really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You've got a lot to cover. Got a lot to cover. Okay, Whispering Willow. How adorable is that? This is Whispering Willow. I'm going to open this one up and give you guys a little flip through. I've done lots of projects with this already. And again, you, I have a video up that I posted today, this morning, to show... 12 different ways that I used this Whispering Willow. Okay, so we might want to tip down so I can show. I know, I'm so sorry. Uh, don't feel sorry for me. I just feel bad jiggling the camera. I know. I just wanted to be able, you guys to be able to see it. Okay. All right. Well, that's oh, a good, good idea. idea. There Maybe we go. Pull the table back a little bit, just so you can have the full. Yep. No, the other way. There right. we go. Okay. All just right. Keep an eye on yourself there. So, Whispering Willow. This is um, artwork by Lexi Grenzer. Is that close enough for you, or do you want me to go a little closer? Yeah, I think this is good. This is good. Okay. This is some artwork by Lexi. I wish I had. Do you see my little little red stool anywhere? <laughs> um, no, but I'm sure I can find you a oh, stool. Oh, it's right here. Okay. It's right here. Oh, thanks, Jane. When we're down here, it's um, it's a little bit trickier. Yes, it is. To get different angles, the switcher is really nice upstairs. It really is. So um, here we go. Eight pages. Eight pages of Lexi's artwork. Okay. So um, here we go. Mushrooms galore. If you want to grab my mushroom piece from upstairs, sure. It would be awesome because I can easily show that. And maybe a couple of little birds. So, for example, this became a tabletop on an old um, table base pedestal, and I just took all of the colors that were similar, like these. Look at that. How beautiful. This is here. But I took all of these like similar colors so that we could pop those onto here to make a little tabletop for an old wood base. And the base is unfinished, so the colors worked beautifully with it. I mean, look at this. Oh, so cute. Strawberries. More willow. These are great. But I know what you're really excited about. 
is not only those florals, but you're excited about the birds. There are birds in here that are so sweet. There's a sweet little deer. Oh my goodness, there's so much good stuff. Look at that. Look at these little birds. There's a little hummingbird, another bird, birds and more birds. Do you love it, you guys? And the mushrooms. Oh, here's what I did with the birds. I made these little wood slices and added some little sentiments to them. Are you selling that table, asked Jane. Of yes, I is. will be selling that table, absolutely. Okay. So the chateau inlay is right behind her. I'm gonna, we're we're going to oh, get back to that one in a second. Now, yep. You will. Here is another. So I just did a little collection hey, of these three woodland birds, and then I just put some little words on here as well. Birds and words. Birds and words. I mean, what could be better? What could be better, Megan? I, I don't know, know you love a good bird with a word. I like a good a bird. word. A good word with a bird. I like a bird. I yeah, we like a bird. So um, I had a hedgehog when I was a kid too, Arlinda. I know. His Isn't that funny? Oliver. There's a whole hedgehog like subculture out there, like people who really love hedgehogs. I made a What's sign. What's not to love? I made a well. They're prickly and. No, they're not really. They're that snarky. Quickly. No, they're they're they they kind of take control. They take control of their thing. That's what I heard. I don't think so. Oh no, that's a badger. Yeah, that's a badger. A hedgehog. I did a really cute little toy. I box. never had a pet badger in my life. No, I but you did have a hedgehog. Yes. Remember that? It was cute. Yes, it was that's cute. what I was just talking I know, about. But it, it was really cute. I will confess. Yes, it was he cute. was very cute. It was, cute. and they he was even litter trained. Yep. She kept it in her room. Mm -hmm. Along with he the lizard that disappeared. Every night. <laughs> Along with the lizard that disappeared, and yes. I found All after right. she went Can to we college. Not? <laughs> wow, really? But look at the bunnies. So you guys, you'll want to check out this video because I showed some ways to get some bonus material from your from your inlay pack. All right. This, I think, I don't know. I keep saying. It's my favorite. Everything is my favorite. But look at this, you guys. Look at this. I collected all of the mushrooms. I foraged through this transfer pad for mushrooms. Forage. <laughs> Good one. And man. I created this beautiful mushroom wall art. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. Yes. I love it. I love it too. But yeah, you'll want to check it out because I did I did some lots of projects, some surprises, some I used them in ways that maybe you wouldn't have expected. And um, I think you'll get a kick out of some of these cute little projects that I did with Whispering Willows, and that's on our YouTube channel. I agree. Right. Yeah, the no. animals would be great um, in a children's gallery. Like Absolutely. Children's well, you know, I got to say something. I was at my first thought was, okay, this is very childlike. And I thought how cute it would be. And my first thought was I'm going to grab a children's wardrobe and I'm just going to do an entire woodland mm -hmm. scene on that children's wardrobe. That's then easy. I thought, yeah, that's easy. So then Which I wanted would to all, think it of, would be very cute. Yeah. What ways could I use this transfer in a little bit more of a, I don't want to say adult way, but something a, a bit more, I don't I'm know. This up because it's like just your lips talking to them now that you're not showing them. <laughs> a bit more like um, something that you could actually use in your home or that's good. That's good. I know. Oh, there. Okay. Well, yeah. I couldn't see because this thing is blocking your face. Yes. So I wanted to use them in a way that was more adult decor oriented or something that you could funny. gift. Okay. So I hope that you're inspired by some of those projects that I did with whispering, whispering what, what, whispering willows. And here's another thing. Like I was literally stuck with we remember Megan. I there were there's so much in here. I just kept creating more and more projects, and then lo and behold, it's like oh shoot, there's a deer left. Oh, there's another bird left. 
and I'm like, I'm done. I cannot create another thing. But I ended up being able to create something with the deer, the fawn. And um, you'll see some really sweet little clips in there in, in that video from one of our Western New York wildlife rehabilitators who, who actually has a passion for the white-tailed deer in our area. And so I think you'll enjoy that a lot. All righty, so. That's a good idea, Jane. She wants to use it for a garden party bridal shower. Oh my gosh, think of that. Or baby showers. There's so many ways that you could use. Use this transfer. You really Indeed. could. Indeed. Okay, I'm gonna have you switch over to this because I'm gonna pull this guy aside. Okay. And we're gonna actually apply a, a transfer to a box, a basement box. This is a wonderful big white box. I just need a regular brush. Whoops. What size of items do you, you brought down that, that you needed um, into your space? Well, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. All to heck. What kind of brush are you talking just, about? Like No, this? just, yeah. This just was poly only. No, like one of the chip brushes. Next to the poly only, there you go. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, this um, this is an old painted wood box. Do we have the camera where you like it? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Okay, so take a look. And sorry, bear with me. So we're gonna prep this. You know, basically. The camera's not on you really, so just. It's okay, this has been cleaned. Isn't it? It's okay for right now, it really is. This has been cleaned, it's just chippy painted white box, big white box. And we're going to add one of the Cotswold transfers to this. How's that, Mom? Perfect. Sorry for the wiggling. So I'm applying a layer of my clear poly. This is tough coat in a matte finish just to protect that chipping. And I wanna make sure that I have a really good base to apply my transfer to. So that is that. And we're gonna pop this aside. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe put those right where that was. I'm That's going great. to, I'm going to. <laughs> Patrice, uh, Patrice left a message, or left a comment after the Basement Chronicles last week. <laughs> Is the basement getting cleared out? <laughs> like, well, he's worried. Um, actually, Jr. took two really neat pieces out of here and did some repairs on them, so I can actually get in my upholstery area, which is awesome. So we got this dresser. Sorry for the I'm not gonna be able to see that. It's okay. Just wondering why you're. Hmm. Just wondering why you're pulling it over here. Well, I, I, cause we'll, we'll show it when it's done. Okay. <laughs> Just focus on the drawers for now, okay? All you're doing is cramp cramping yourself in. <laughs> the, the other, the other in our other transfer that we love is called uh, Ornamentus. <laughs> Okay, you don't sound confident. If you could grab me one of those, Megan, so we don't have to move. My, is, I, is anybody keeping track of how many things she's had me grab? It's unprecedented today. <laughs> because I want to show you a really awesome piece that I did, which is behind me, and I don't want Megan to have to, um, well, she might have to shift the key. <laughs> what would you like me to but do? But this is the transfer. I just want them to see this. Okay. You might, oh, okay. There you go. Okay. This is the transfer ornamentist. Ornamentistus. <laughs> well, however you say it. And I know, Jane. And no less than six of those times have I um, had to go up a flight of stairs. Well, that's good, right? Yeah. We believe is it? In if it was so good, why weren't you here doing it? <laughs> you seem to believe in my personal fitness. 
Okay, right. go ahead. There's the dresser. Isn't it great? This is a cedar chest. Oh, there's the cedar chest. Cedar Isn't chest it great? With drawers. I, Lisa says she has not heard one. Please. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. I can't I can't pull the drawers out right now because we have an issue. Oh issues. my goodness. <laughs> um, JR has we, it's tipped a little bit backwards, but here it is. I had to cut my transfer apart to make it fit in here. And then I have these pieces left over. So now let's apply them. And so you'd like me back down to the drawers? Sure. Now? I'd love you back down to my drawers. All right, that is wildly inappropriate <sighs> okay is that let's see how that is and then i just need a pair of scissors <laughs> is this right mom sure okay <laughs> we just need some scissors we don't need scissors you i need scissors i keep all my tools right at my workstation yeah, i know so. you do there well, you time working, you hear me asking i'm working you to get me everywhere something. i work everywhere Okay, so I had these bits that were left from this particular transfer. I'm not going to try to say it. And you see, I never used this. What color is that dresser? Soapstone? Uh, that dresser? Which that one? Dresser. This one? This is the new WCIY Gray Skies. Oh, okay. This is one of the new cottage colors. Darling. It's Darling. Darling. And then here's my other little bit right here. You know me, I love to cut apart a transfer. I really do. And I am working upside down so that I can see what I'm doing, but then I'll switch it around for you, okay? So I'm going to put my two drawers together here. And what I've got here are these parts and pieces. And what I thought is like, um, they almost create hey, like, Cheryl. a heart shape. Look at this. Amy, yes, of course I'll ship your order. And Leah, I was just going to go look through our um, codes and conduct manuals. I do believe manners are not optional here, so that may have to be discussed. Oh, you guys. But I wonder if you can see what I'm seeing here, that we can create a heart shape on the front of this sweet little dresser. Look at that. Hey, Monica. Hi, Monica. Bev loves everything you do. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. And she always looks forward to your videos. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice, Bev. We appreciate that. I'm just going to trim this away. And I'm going to do a little trim here. It's, it's going to look upside down to you. Yes, yes it is going to look upside down. Um, I have to, because I'm terrible, if I'm not like looking right at it, it's hard for me to make things straight. Just like the uh, perfect example, the olive crust. Thank you, Wendy. And yes, I do try my best to be very polite all the time. Uh, thank you for noticing, Lisa. <laughs> Is anyone here in the inlays group? If you're not, you might be missing out on some fun bonus content coming up <laughs> where I will be tested to see if I've been paying attention to the rules. <laughs> the inlay rules. Yes. Okay, look, you guys. I think we've I think we've got a little bit of a heart shape <laughs> happening here, do we? Cheryl said, she's arriving late, and I must have missed a doozy of a doozy if we're already talking about conduct and rules. We'll rewatch. <laughs> we'll rewatch them. Call HR. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> yep. Yeah. There's always something here, isn't there? <laughs> always something with this girl. Oh yes, Amy, Cheryl. I know you both are. Okay, um, so I think what I'm going to do... Kathleen said try switching those top pieces around so the flowers are on the outside. Well, I want this. Yes, Janine, you're in the inlays group. We're going to be ending that inlays group with a nice, with some dips <laughs> and a cocktail. 
And me trying to use an inlay. It should like be great this? fun. You think like this? That's cute too. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I like that. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. See the heart shape that's going to happen here? All right, so let's get these down first. Okay, so my little trick is um, I will I will hold one side of this because I, I want this positioned here. So I'm going to hold one side of my transfer piece, fold half of it back, then press that half down, wow. and then press the other half. Okay, wow. pretty cool, right? Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to fold half of it back while I'm holding this in place. I don't want that to shift. I'm going to press, lift it up, and then press the rest of it in place. Cheryl thinks your jeans are too cute. Well, I'm going to tell you, my entire wardrobe today is from Walmart. <laughs> Well, you, those are Walmart jeans? They are. Mom can wear any jeans. Well, no, not really. Not I, really. The fun fact about me is that I simply do not wear jeans. Or I've seen you wear jeans. Mom, and they're, pretty they're not a real jean. What, what do you You're not going to catch me with a button or a are zipper. Are they a jegging? No. They're <laughs> like a jogger, kind of. They oh, a the, jogger. They're illusion denim. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's giving you the illusion that I have jeans on. I'll wear a chambray. <laughs> but again, uh, you're not going to catch me with a button and zipper. Oh. Almost ever. Thank you, Amy doesn't wear jeans, Robin doesn't wear jeans, but mom looks great in jeans, like very well, cute. And yes, and Cheryl, it is because she doesn't. <laughs> but some people with butts look really good in jeans. Oh my In fact, gosh, maybe I, I do look good in jeans, we're just never gonna find out. <laughs> You're not gonna ever show up? No. Shoot. Now Melissa Jacobson has a hot take. Switch the bottom pieces so the fat flowers at the top to connect to the top of the heart. I've worn jeggings in, in the past, Lisa. I'm not um, against them. I'm just not, you're not gonna catch me wearing like a, a, a thick jean, a solid, you know, structured jean. She's not gonna wear um... any kind of structured pant. You're not gonna catch me in. So would you, you wouldn't wear flanneled, uh, flannel line jeans? jeans? No. No? Nope. Okay. No, they do. They look comfy. They look great on her. It's just not for me. Like this. Okay. Like that, Melissa? I just want to make sure we've got enough. Dishonesty denim. Dishonesty. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of lay these on here and see... Look at you guys have a better sense of like upside down than I do. I don't either, Cheryl. And anytime that I have tried to venture into jean territory, first of all, no one in my family can just let it slide and let me be act like it's normal. It's like, what? You're, You're wearing, wearing jeans? jeans? And then it makes me angry. <laughs> but it's like I can't get them off fast enough. So I wear a lot of dresses. I will wear a legging, whether it's in style or not. I will wear a jogger, but a, no structured pants in my life. I mean, you guys have literally given me such great ideas for the layout of this heart. There's leggings for that, Jane. Trust me. I like an overall. I like overalls that are made of denim. That I'll wear. A nice palazzo pant, I agree with you, Cheryl, but again, it's not a structured pant. That's what I could get down with. Or I'll wear a linen pant, maybe, with a drawstring. <laughs> Wide legs, yes, all day. 
Chloe, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. You really do. You really, really do. But yes, I'm always envious of people like mom that just strutting around casually in a wear, little pair of jeans. <laughs> and then they people act like that's like casual wear, but for me, that is like... I might as well be wearing a three-piece suit or a tuxedo or something. That's how I'm a guy. I'd be more comfortable, like, in a prom dress. <laughs> no. You're you're not, there's no way I'd be wearing I get, I, like, when I see my husband or my kids, like, laying on the couch with jeans on, I truly, I'm just like, how are you doing that? Oh, my god! It looks so oh my uncomfortable gosh. to okay, me. Okay, so yeah. get this. It's like when I get home at night, even in my little jeans, you know, yeah. my cute little jeans, it's like, and you guys can relate. When you get to be a certain age, I think it's like, I cannot wait to get home and just get out of my clothes. For me, that age was pre-K. <laughs> <laughs> Like the loosest, like, like I will straight up get into my pajamas at at five thirty in the evening. I remember Augie was Augie has always been like that to my uh, my second oldest son. It's like he'd get home from kindergarten and have one foot in the door and already one leg of his pants off. Well, you know, like who he could does not that? get into. His you know who basement. just is perfectly relaxed in his recliner, fully wearing a pair of jeans and a belt yep. and everything until. A vest. It is a time to go <laughs> until it's time to go to bed. No, my husband is. might be like, "Man, can't you put on like some because like, it's like shorts?" Some, I know, <laughs> I know, it's shorts. me projecting my own feelings. We're always, they're always like, "Mom, we don't care. We're comfortable." I'm just like, I don't understand difference. how. That's men. That is like the difference. Not all men. men. Augie, Augie won't. Not all. No. But David, my husband, will just be lounging in jeans. <laughs> Oh, I, just I, cannot, drives me crazy. I cannot lounge in a pair of jeans. <laughs> you guys, isn't this pretty? This is so pretty. Who and knew? Natalie and JR will have his arms on top of all those layers, his arms will be crossed. And that's him relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> and leg crossed. I just want to untie him. <laughs> oh, my dear husband. My dear husband. We must have a thousand pictures of him. <laughs> I'm gonna like put that right there. Yeah, Bev wears jeans, but when it's time to wind down, forget about oh, it. Oh, you've gotta get out of those jeans. <laughs> Jane said, my husband too, after, even after his surgery, he slept in the recliner with jeans, <laughs> belt, and shirt. <laughs> what is up with uh, that? I just don't get it. I have a nice collection of house dresses. Yes, you okay. do. Okay, now, some are more cute than others. I have vintage ones, um, but it's really as close to feeling like you're not wearing clothes as possible. Oh, this transfer. Sorry, what were, we were talking about transfers. <laughs> <laughs> what one is this? This is called Cotswolds. Or no, no, oh, sorry. Ornament. Ornamentistus. Jean. Arlita <laughs> said jeans are leg bras. <laughs> Right. That's right. So I'm just adding, I'm just going to add these little bits here. I am not wasting a thing here. That's guys. actually really cute. It's really cute. What are clown pants, Melissa? The jeans or the palazzo pants? Amy says, I always say to my husband, why does everything have to be tucked in and belted tight? <laughs> So what are they afraid of? Right? I know. What is that? We need to dive their pants into are gonna, that a little. Pants are going to fall down? What's, what is that And even about? then, who cares? Well, I mean, I kind of would care. But... You would care if he was just like around in like boxers in his house? Oh, no. But I mean, no, not at all. See how I'm layering all these teeny little pieces? It's beautiful. I can't believe we made a heart from this. This is so sweet. You guys. It really is. This is so sweet. Okay, let's just do a little bit of words. God forbid, if I can get this lined up right. It really is cute. Okay. 
Okay, so I think this is about the center. Get that one down. And JR used to iron his jeans. Remember that? No, he doesn't iron them. He used to. I don't remember that. Yes, he did. And I remember one time Am Amelia needed something <laughs> ironed. Maybe even it was a pair of jeans. And he was like, Ugh, pleat or no pleat, he yelled from the basement. <laughs> no crease or, crease or no crease. <laughs> I was like, Dad, no crease. <laughs> but JR, when he has for years, like he will, t he folds his jeans a certain way. And it, and it reminds me of like my dad's jeans, you know, like, like they, they fold this way. Right. And so because he's folded them like that for mm -hmm. years, they create a little crease right here. Fresh Andy. out of the dryer. <laughs> yeah. Shannon says, I live alone, so my clothes are off by the time I reach the bottom of my stairs. Oh, girl. Oh. My bra and all just hang on the banister where I yep. switch it all out for jammies and slippers as soon as I walk in. Yep. Oh, my gosh. There is nothing better. That is the new, the new paint is not chalk or mineral, right, Mom? This is a, a one-step. It has a built-in top coat. It has a satin finish. And I got to tell you, I, I love it. Amy said my husband even tucks his t-shirt into his PJ pants. Jeez. Oh, that <laughs> is, that's impressive. And of course, I'm using the little grid lines to line this up with the bottom of the dresser so that I keep it nice and straight. Oh, this is so... Are they French words, Mom? I believe they are. But then I don't speak French, so I don't know. But Yeah, built-in top coat is perfect for transfer, Cheryl. It's so good. This is the new Cottage Colors paint by Debbie's DIY. It has a built-in top coat. And the color is gray skies. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I really do like it. And, you know, we love our Fusion, too, to use with transfers. Um... The difference between Fusion and this is that this has a more satin finish. Fusion definitely has a, a chalky matte finish. Not chalky. Well, a matte, very matte finish. This one is a little bit more satin. And it doesn't have a built-in base coat, right? This one? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, I put two coats on this. Coverage yeah. is great. Um, I like it. A lot. We'll link that below as well. Once this video uploads, we'll link everything. We are just about finished here. We're almost at our one hour. Okay, and I think that's all I'm going to put on this. And then I still have some letters left over. So this is what I still have left from my transfer. And I will use Even these. after you've used, yep. done the yep. dresser? That's yep. cool. I will, even, I will use these in other ways. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? Oops. Because I love a number. Also... drinking too much coffee. You I are. really feel like I have the shakes. Put that right there. That's what I'm going to do right here. Yes, you. I can tell you right now you're drink, drinking too much coffee. I am? Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. Isn't this just precious? Yep. It really is. I'm going to put some glass candles on this. Someone said black glass would be great. Oh my would. gosh, it would. And I think I have some too. Okay, so. Do you want me to tip this now? Um, you know what? Why don't I go ahead and add the transfer to this box and then we'll take a look at everything. But oh my goodness. It really is. How cute is that? Leah, this might be good in your house. That is cute. Actually, I don't think she'd be into the flowers. I think that kind of flower she might not mind. It's that gray. is adorable. Well, they can't see it. And that's just using the leftovers. Okay, so here I have my box. So put it right back exactly where you were just working. Okay. Oh, Amy. No, I will not.
not go get the handles unless she asks me to. <laughs> then I will. Okay, so let's take a look at. See, I was right. The Cotswolds. Leah could handle those flowers. This. They're not flowery. No, I'm just wondering, is this dry enough? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so here's what's really cool. You guys loved the signs that IOD used over to have. Just a little bit more. There we go. Thank you. So I'm going to show you what we have. There are actually two signs here. We have... There we are. We have the pig, the charcuterie, eatery pig, whatever. But look at how cool that is. So there's one sign. Here's another thing you can do. I mean, you could take this apart, use all of these parts separately. You could cut out that pig and use him separately and, and then put something completely different inside this little frame area. Um, yeah, you could you can do so much with this. I actually thought of this white box, and this is the other one, and I thought it would be really cool just to put the sheep on here with the old woolery. You could put Bohemian Brights over a transfer, right, Mom? Absolutely. Here's what you do. When you want to paint a transfer, you need to make sure you seal it completely before you um, put any paint over it. Oh, look at this, you guys. That she. Oh, well, there you go. Like, how cool is that? Like, I'm even thinking, like, if you're a knitter, like, how neat would this be? Um, it says traditional home-cooked foods. Yeah, but you could take this out. <laughs> and take the tavern part out and, and i think say you the could, old woolery you could have yeah let's take this apart yep let's just take this apart and put the sheep on it how about that not anything else just the sheep we're just gonna do the sheep no wow and keep it simple that will forgot his head over there i'll get his head Are you doing this whole thing during the slide? Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly put this on. I'm just cutting this out. So you are putting more than the sheep. And I'm gonna put the old woolery in the sheep. But none of the ornate stuff around No, nope, no, nope, not in this box. Mm -mm. Then I'm gonna show you, like then you'll end up with this really beautiful frame that you can also use for another project. Let me get his little, little head here. Okay, and let's cut out our little shapey. All right, be careful with his hooves, you wild Ooh, woman. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So I love this release. It's got something for everyone. It has very traditional, like kind of farm hand, farm oriented. It has old style European. Um, some very traditional patterns that I think you guys are going to love. Um, lots of good texture. She is crazy with the scissors, I know. Oh my she always acts like I'm overreacting, but everyone sees it. Everyone sees it, Mom. I know. I know. Okay, so let's put this guy kind of in the center. Oh, I do need maybe a tape measure. Do I wanna... Oh yeah? Are you just letting telling me that, or did you need something from oh, me? Let me see. Because I think no, everyone's commented on the way that you're supposed to ask. We're good. Things. Okay. Right. We're good. Okay, I'm gonna do my old trick here of pulling half of this back, holding, holding, oh, holding, holding. <laughs> Oh, no, I want to press him down first. 
I know. I am glad she's not running with them. That I'm not what? Running with the scissors. I would never run with a pair of scissors. No, you would say, Megan, run and get my scissors. But don't run <laughs> back with them. <laughs> Just the versatility of these. Again, if you can look past the original design that was implemented um, and break it apart, you just have so many possibilities. It's like for me, I'm, I'm not totally into that whole big, like very ornate sign, but I love this on its own. And then I would use that frame piece for something else. I think it's gonna need more than just him and those words on here. But you remember, something. this is just an old wood box. I know, I just think we're gonna need to put something else on there. I don't know what it is yet. Like I almost inlay background or something like that. Yeah, that could be cute. Like a faded. Okay. Oh, I like this. Emma, are you in our inlay group? I just opened up um, more. I just opened up more. Um, op I just opened up more. Wow. Spots. Emma, I'm looking you up right now. Emma is. I believe she. Emma. She's just asking if her inlay kit um, was shipped out. Oh, okay. Any anybody who after the first huge batch, um, mom made me a spreadsheet, and then after that. Just let me know if you didn't get your kit. Thank you, Emma. I will make sure you get it. <laughs> so this is the part where we're all quiet. Well, I'm trying to get Emma's like, taken care of since so <laughs> watching the sheep go on. Oh. What a beautiful sheep. Let's get his eye on there. And these are made to just fit right up with each other there. And we are just about done. And we'll quickly show you the bigger pieces in the back. Um, Cheryl, I have told Mom and Jr. that we need more candy. And I oh! apologize for everyone who hasn't been getting it. It's I, That would be very disappointed, too. Oh, no. No, you're not bothering me, Emma. I'm so happy that you said that, because now it's oh, all please. taken yes. care of. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, you guys, right Thank like you. this. Does that look even? Do I have eyes I on this? I think so, from my angle, I think. Maybe it needs to go down a little bit. Yeah? Uh, somebody will tell you if it isn't. Right, they sure and will. Her name is Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy has got an eagle eye when it comes to this stuff. Well, we're going to go for it. We are going to go for it.
Jr. and are leaving right after this to go pick up some really good stuff. Um, we have some awesome small old wood boards that I want to use. I was thinking maybe they'd be fun to put into a kit with like the frames mold and something else. Um, and while you're out, you might as well pick up some candy. Okay. Candace, I think I just shipped your stencils. And Emma C, because you spoke up, I just, within that minute, put it in the envelope and it's going, it, it's in the bin to go to the post office today. So I'm so glad you said something because the bin hadn't gone out yet. I know that there's, I'm sure this, well, I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, how fun would, this would be fun to do some just very soft faded inlays on it. Leah, you know what? You're right. What? The people who pick up locally don't get the candy. Well, from now they on, you're don't. going to. Shame on you. Excuse me. <laughs> I have never been instructed to do so. Well, I would expect. I think we need to report this to HR. Because she already just did report it to HR, and it's already been taken care of. Somebody Thank you. is not taking initiative. Well, all right, there we go. I know it's a little crooked. Is I HR expected to go out and buy the candy? This is crooked, isn't it? But you know what? It's a crooked old box. So <laughs> it's a crooked old woolery. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> That is wildly crooked, actually. It's, it really is. <laughs> you should have used, like, the thin mount to make the... You're right. <laughs> Ye old woolery. Yeah. Yeah. Ye old woolery. Well, yes, I did do that, Vicki. I was trying to do something cute with those little match um, boxes and the Andy Smiths. Okay, this is really cute, other than the fact that I do <laughs> Might have to sand that off and open another one. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but you get the idea, right? Wow. Ridiculous. All right, so let's take a I look. I know, Wendy, I'm telling you. That's. You know, HR's not. Um, given any petty cash to go out and get now, the candy. That's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> what, that they're not getting the, candy? No, this! Look what <laughs> I did! <laughs> so bad. They can't so even bad. see it. <laughs> Alright, but what you can see is that beautiful cedar chest back there. <laughs> You'll never see that box again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have to fix it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's really bad. Yay, Tammy, thank you so much. Okay, so there is the ornament. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Hold on, let me say something. Sometimes if you're ordering something and it comes in a flat envelope, it's hard to get candy in there. Oh boy. So when you unless maybe mom wants to start getting like fruit roll ups or something that I can Laffy just, like, roll Laffy Chappy. It still makes a lump, and then I worry it'll melt. But in a box, if you have a box, you get candy. They are. We need candy oh, everywhere. Complaining, and he's gonna. Like, oh. no, I'm not in charge of candy. Oh well, you <laughs> bought it last time. No. There was Andy Smiths and the fruit gems. I got them at BJ's. You bought both. Okay, so here we go. We have this is the bulk of the pattern here, and then we did this. We made a little heart from the rest of it. And then we have our crooked old box here. But let me show you. Sorry. Leaning sheep. This is the, um, do you want me to chateau? zoom in? This is the inlay chateau, which I use. I will be putting a video up uh, probably next week Ooh. sharing this particular piece and how I did the layout on it. It's really pretty. We need to get it in better lighting it's beautiful. for them because yeah. this is yeah. so great. I have a picture of it on our website. Okay. So, but there it is, you guys. Okay. That's the release. The name of the transfer is Cosette, Mom. You were trying to read the whole word this whole time, oh. but the transfer <laughs> name is Cosette. Cosette. 
All right, it's really close up too. Do you want to talk to the camera? I'll yeah, talk out. to the camera just for a second. But thank okay. you guys for watching today. Thank you for joining us here in the basement um, and going through this um, this whole new IOD summer release. We're so excited for it. Thank you guys for continuing to support us here. If you have not subscribed, please do. We appreciate it. We have. We're trying so hard to get to our ten thousand. And, um, so if any of you has just a thousand friends, and leave a comment, leave a comment for us. And if you can get everybody who can get five hundred people to subscribe, I'll, I'll put an send extra you a piece. Uh, no, I was going to say I'll put an <laughs> extra piece of candy in your order. Perfect. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you on Friday upstairs, where we'll be continuing to create some other fun stuff, and I'm probably gonna. Oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. i got to fix that. Actually, if you can Jeez. get a thousand people to subscribe, I'll wear jeans. For Sweet. two hours. Do it. Do it. <laughs> On camera. She yes. will. For All two right. hours. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that Mom, is. you're still alive. Nitwit. I am such well, a nitwit. Well, you can't call people nitwits. I'm a nitwit. <laughs>